Hey guys, this is Josh from Grapplezilla, and uh, today we're going to talk about an amazing grappler called named uh, Vlad Kulikov. Now, um, if you see me doing ticks, I have Tourette syndrome, so don't worry. And if you see this big like uh, tumor, got to get rid of that too. Anyways, Vlad Kulikov. I got to say, I've been following Vlad Kulikov for many years now. Um, he's an amazing grappler. Okay, this guy is a master of sambo. Uh, judo, also uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, understands a grappling game from a different viewpoint than you see in the United States a lot, which uh, comes from his vast knowledge on uh, Russian martial arts, Russian styles of uh, the old Soviet Union, grappling styles, etc. And Vlad understands how to combine them into what he calls Sambo Fusion. Uh, I've had many experiences talking to Vlad uh, on chat. You know, we both run uh, Instagram pages, etc. I Every time he talks, I'm in shock of how much knowledge he has. He really understands grappling. He understands the history, especially of Soviet styles, uh, such as Chidaoba, Kurash, etc. Top level grappler and a true grapplezilla at that. So... Um, Let's talk about Vlad. So Vlad was born in Russia. Uh, when he was a kid, he was a very bright student, took a keen interest in studying subjects such as literature, history, Russian, uh, language. And besides being great at school, I mean, he's a very smart guy. Uh, Vlad loved the martial arts and began to start training in Sambo. And it was actually uh, Kulikov's, Kulikov's father, who was a boxer and a wrestler and had immense strength. Um, so strong that he could actually uh, rip off chains or bend coins that inspired Vlad to start training Sambo. And we can see Vlad definitely got the genetics from his father because he is strong as an ox, you know. Um, Vlad began, tra began training uh, Sambo in 1984 at the best Sambo school in Russia, which is the best Sambo school in the world, called Sambo 70 in Moscow. Um, and he eventually attained the master of sport in Sambo, uh, just for you to know, Sambo 70 is the equivalent of the Kodokan in Judo or the Gracie Baja in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Or it would be like the Gamidov in uh, Mahalachka, uh, sorry, in Dag uh, Dagestan. Uh, you know, it's top of the top and uh, they produce the best of the best. And, and Vlad obviously went there because his skills uh, definitely speak for themselves. Now, Vlad trained in a lot of tournaments. Uh, he actually lost his first attempt, but his dedication and his rigorous training um, paid off and he had many victories after. Uh, he made his mark in the world of Sambo and he won silver and gold in all the Soviet Cups. Okay, it boosted Vlad's morale. And after he moved to the United States where he actually represented the United States in Sambo many, on many occasions. Okay, now he actually moved to the United States in 1996 and upon getting to the States, he looked for a Sambo club, and there was none to be found in, in the East Coast. I don't even know if there was in the West Coast, like what he, the Sambo he would know, right? Uh, so he joined a grappling club, a club and where he would start training uh, BJJ, uh, which he would add on to his master level Sambo and Judo skills. Well, Vlad fell in love with BJJ, much due to the fact there's a lot of similarities to Sambo and Judo. And ultimately, he would mix the arts together creating a new kind of fusion of uh, fusion style grappling art, uh, thus naming it Sambo Fusion that we know from his videos and from his school, etc. A wonderful uh, adaptation of the arts together. Uh, he really fine tunes and makes it easy to understand and uh, check it out, man. I, I think it's really good stuff. Now, although both Jiu Jitsu and Sambo have their restrictions and strengths, uh, Vlad considers that employing sambo techniques in jiu-jitsu uh, jiu definitely enhances the, the validity, not the validity, the lethality of uh, jiu-jitsu itself. And um, we can see that in his way of teaching proper techniques from different grips and throws uh, that aren't orthodox in the United States or the West. And taking it down and always landing into a, a, either a very good pin where he'll work to a submission. His submissions are world class. And uh, showing how you can actually, everyone says, is, is it BJJ or Sambo? You can have the marriage of both, the best of both worlds, and he does that. 
Um, he's also competed in tons of grappling tournaments, um, everything from Grappler's Quest, where in 1999 he was actually the, uh, uh, the most technical fighter in the first Grappler's Quest. Uh, he was in NAGA, which is the North American Grappling Association, uh, and also the U.S. Open. He's competed many times, you know. He also represented the U.S. team in the 2008 World Championships in Combat Sambo. And he was actually the 2017 World Combat Wrestling Champion, okay. Now, some other things to know about Vlad that I think are pretty cool. Maybe it does have to do with grappling, but uh, he was actually in a lot of, uh, quite a few Hollywood movies, and definitely in one movie that if you're a grappling, uh, a grappler, or a grappler, grappling aficionado, I think that's the word, or fan, you definitely gonna know. He was actually in John Wick, uh, which is awesome, you know. Uh, choke artist in Salt as well. Salt was a great movie, by the way. Um, and he actually played Chenkov's father in the movie Salt. So check that one out, and he's good. Now, he actually used to have a school in the West Coast. Um, in, sorry, in the East Coast, my bad. Uh, called the Kulikov Grappling Academy, KGA, in Warwick, New York. But Vlad would eventually move to Texas and uh, open his Kulikov Grappling Academy there, which is also known as Sambo Fusion, in Edinburgh, Texas. He's extremely passionate and determined to pass his uh, Sambo Fusion techniques to the next generation, to his students. You can see now he teaches his students. From what I see, there's no ego. He lets his students throw him. He celebrates them. The guy is a proper, he is American now, but a proper Russian coach. Like, uh, he cares. He cares a lot. Now, we might not see Vlad competing as an athlete um, often nowadays, but we'll definitely see him raise uh, Sambo and grappling champions in the future. His fighting skills and fusion of Sambo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, also some wrestling techniques, second to none. It really is great stuff. Uh, like, I'm surrounded by wrestlers a lot and by uh, Jiu Jitsu guys, etc., Judokas, but he always has a way to take something and you go, oh, okay, that's really interesting, you know? Um, he's a world class instructor. He knows how to teach, and he's extremely intelligent. I highly recommend, uh, first of all, joining maybe his uh, Instagram page and liking it. I really recommend maybe checking out his videos. Uh, I think it's some great stuff there. And uh, yeah, Vlad, you're the man, and uh, keep it up, brat. And uh, yeah, you're the man. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe and like, and thank you very much for your support. I'll start putting some more videos uh, in the future. Have a great day.